Okay. Yeah, just Almost talk to me. Food. Just talk to me, babe. I, uh... <clears throat> we on? Yeah, we're, we're oh. on. Oh. Okay, well, welcome back. <laughs> I'm making dinner. And, um... Yeah. So you were saying? That I didn't feel like doing YouTube... Yes. Today or yesterday. And, and I asked. Is because I know what happens after I get the video done. I have to go and offload the video. I got to go into the computer. I got to go and balance all the audio. I got to, I got to do the subtitles. I got. It's just one thing after the other, and I just don't feel like doing it. But I know it has to get done, which is why we're here. Mm-hmm. So is that just you're feeling daunted by the work of it, the aftermath of it? Yeah. You know. And what can we do about that? Nothing. It's a lost cause. Uh-uh. Can't do anything. We're going to have to, we've committed to making YouTube until the, the non-distant future. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that every time we do a video? No. Okay. No. I didn't think so, but just right now because of the other work that you have? Yeah. That makes sense. So when you don't feel like it, what do you do to make it so you can do it if it's something you still have to do anyway? I literally groan. Hmm? I literally groan. That's true. That checks out. <laughs> I do. You do? I, I will make a groaning sound. And I, often it follows with expletives. <laughs> and then you say, What's wrong, babe? And then I tell you about my feelings of being overwhelmed. And does that help? Does what help? You telling me about your feelings of overwhelm and the audible groan and exclamations. Expletives. Expletives, thank you. Um, does it help? I don't know. I guess I, I've been getting all the stuff done, so maybe it does. Mm -hmm. Well, there's that. Chew on that. Hmm. This is our bowl of seeds, by the way. What are you using? What seeds? Um, these are, I'm not going to cook with them. I'm just oh. adding to them. Um, bell pepper seeds. And here we've got bell pepper seeds. We've got squash seeds, lemon seeds, and apple seeds. And I can tell the difference. So when it comes to separation, that'll be easy. Start growing what you can at home. You know? So we just started saving seeds to add to the garden. GMO seeds. No, these are not GMO. No, they're organic? Yeah. That's an organic bell pepper? Mm -hmm. I only save the organic ones. I'm pretty sure. Did it say organic when you, when you cut it? You're the one who started it. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're the one who started it, but I'm pretty sure because... I don't know about this onion. What's that? What's that? What's that sound saying? Walla Walla sweet onions. Oh. So it's local. But, walla um, Walla Washington. Mm-hmm. But yeah, from the, the farmers that we get the stuff from, the box from is, is um, local restaurant own, owners and farmers. And so I'm pretty sure that they are sourced well. I'm going to, well, babe, we might need to shift the camera a little bit because I'm, in, I'm gonna need a second burner. I wanna put the pot right there. Okay. Thank you. I don't know where it's going. It's okay. Should um, we just start it all over? No, I don't think you need to start over. I think it's real, it's the real real. 
don't want the real deal to be that long this week. Well, yeah, we had a really good discussion last week. Tafik is feeling moody. Who's and... watching me right now? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, sharing his inner like, thoughts. No, seriously, like, am I weird for recording it and putting it on the internet, or are you weird for going on the internet and watching us do this stuff? Who's watching? But you're making the video for us, but also with the knowing that someone's going to click on it, you are going to click on it and be like, yeah, I want to watch this. Who's watching? Our friends, what our family, people who, who, what our messages it pertains to, people who are on the same wavelength, ideally, people who are shifting to the right wavelength. But why? But Why? What are you missing in your life that made you go on YouTube and click on whatever catchy title, catchy, clickbaity title? What were you looking for? <laughs> I mean, like, what have you done? Like, you know you go on YouTube and you'll be like... Well, yeah, I'm disappointed in myself every time. <laughs> I don't feel like our content is disappointment. I watch our content. Oh, no, no, I'm not talking about our content. No, I know, but in reference to that, you go and you click on something that looks eye-catching. Oh, what are they talking about? Like, you know, toxicity is disgusting. It's not think a trend. I'm going to click on that. Like, like, think about it. Think about it. When you see it and there's like 89 views or 300 views or 1,000 views, what 1,000 people decided to click? I want to know. There's, that's 1,000 people. If I sold a thousand tickets mm -hmm. to any sort of event, that's that's pretty good money. That's a good weekend's work. That is a good you know weekend's I mean? work. Twenty thousand or a thousand, a thousand people. I want to know. All right, he wants me, to know. Because that camera's getting heavy. Okay. Put it down. Anyway. He wants to know. Okay. I mean, I guess you have a point. You know, you never really know, but. All we can do is put out our message and hope that it falls on the right ears. And even so, maybe it, it falls on a playlist of, you know, similar content and it randomly pops up on somebody's screen. Maybe they were looking for something because them and their partner just had a conversation that pertains to what we were talking about and they're interested. Um, yeah, it's we're learning and evolving as we've stated and I'm sure a majority of the planet is doing the same thing and so it takes you know it, it just takes the the learner and the listener to want to learn and listen and then they find also we're entertaining so you think so? I think so I, <laughs> I think so what do you think? I think so what do you think? Entertaining? Oh, no, I think in some regard, yeah. I think we're entertaining. Yeah. Especially when you, like, put little words, post-edit, like, this is what we were thinking, or this happened, or I said I was going to do this, and that didn't happen. They're really funny to me. <laughs> or are they funny to you because you're the one that was experiencing the feeling or the thought or the, you know, what happened? Highly likely. Um, yes, and I feel like other people might experience that also. I couldn't, I, I can neither confirm nor deny, but it might be something. I guess really it's just a matter of time, huh? Matter of consistently doing what it is that we're doing. Mm -hmm. So tonight's dinner special is what's in the fridge. Um, and what I mean by that is take your leftovers and you create a new meal out of it. <laughs> uh, I'm also adding something with ingredients that hadn't been processed prior um, to make us a yummy dinner in case you were wondering that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah. So I'm making us garlic mashed potatoes. I'm enhancing the quinoa that I had already made. And then I've got some collard greens that I 
had made as well that I'm gonna just pump up. Um, so, yeah. So, I wonder mm -hmm. if careful. We haven't put that in a video in a while. Okay, anyway. So, remember how, you know, avoiding the context, but the concept of holding energy that's not ours. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if my feelings of being overwhelmed Mm. Is me holding energy that's not mine. Mm. Because if I'm, if I am doing what it is that I am destined to do, supposed to do, what I'm called to do on a day-to-day -day basis, then the feeling of being overwhelmed is really just a distraction because it's not like I can't do it. I'm, I have to do it. Do I it. am doing it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and I know it's different than the, the context under which we have brought up the idea in the first place. I, I don't know. I feel like it still holds true. I agree. I think it still very much applies. Um, I wonder what you think. Do you think that it is energy from elsewhere? Are you typically... Um, overwhelmed by things in a, in such a way that it reduces your desire to do those things? If the answer is no, then I think you're on the right track in saying what you said. Well, I mean, it goes back and forth, right? So it's like, yeah, it does reduce my desire to do things. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, it's like, am I going to throw away however much time I've already spent building what it is that I'm doing and forsake all of that time and energy and sacrifice. You know, I guess I could, but I'm not. Yeah, probably no. And that's because you know the purpose and the reason behind what it is that you're doing. So yeah. it's not, one, it's not without sacrifice, but it's also, which, as you say often, uh, it's not without sacrifice, but it's also something that you want. So you're going to work for it. <laughs> Even when you're not really feeling it. Aww. But then that's why you have me. I make you dinner and I ask you about your feelings. And also you have you. Because you take care of yourself, you take breaks when you need to, walk around. I take too many breaks. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's never enough. I'm never satisfied. Well. So, I mean, what is life if you are satisfied with it? Think about it. What is life if you are actually satisfied with it? Like 100% completely satisfied with every single element of everything. No, I don't know about a percentage, but I'm just saying, if you are just satisfied with life, then what does it become? Hmm. I mean, because I think about this. I think the percentage matters because I'm, I'm very satisfied with the trajectory of our relationship. I'm extremely satisfied with, you know a lot of the food that I prepare. I'll say that you just reminded me of another conversation that we'd had um, talking about, you know, the ease, the idea of an easy life um, and how that relates to momentum and movement. And I feel like, uh, 
you know, without context of the conversation, essentially. Um, a life of ease, if you don't want hardship or don't expect it, um, we realize that that can cause stagnation or cause a um, kind of depreciation of yourself as a human being rather than an excelling or a continual learning because if you just want things to be easy and you don't want to overcome the struggles that may be presented to you in order to get your true desires, then you're kind of stuck in the same place. So that brings me back to what you were saying now is kind of like, well, I guess, I guess I, I wouldn't necessarily want to be, I don't want to be complacent or like just content with a lack of movement in my life. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Personally. Now I do want to be, what was the term you used? Um, satisfied? Yeah. I do want to be satisfied with my life. I do want to look back on all the years and say, man, I worked hard and I am living a good life and I'm happy about it. I do want that. But I think that's very different than stagnation or complacence. I'm going to look back with you and be like, damn, babe. Look at our life. Look at us. Who would have thought? Oh! What do you think? I don't know if you saw that flying potato, but it is cooked. I think there's... There's a lot of different, I don't know. Chew the gum? Yeah, I'm about to chew the gum. Okay. What? I've never seen you chew a piece of gum, no, ever. No. I'm sitting there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm about to try it out. I think, I think there's a lot of different energies in the world that have been kind of shaping the way we think and feel and and then we take on this energy and we think we're supposed to do a certain thing and you know whether it's working really hard or it's grind culture where you're trying to grind 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 push 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 move 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 and then and then it's like yeah but I don't want to grind I don't want to be you know ground down to the bone you know stomping the pavement trying to make things happen right so but then then at the same time so there's that culture that you might take on then, then on the other hand, it's like, am I taking that on because other people are doing it? Or is it because that's what it is that I feel like I need to be doing to accomplish what it is that I'm accomplishing? So there's, so, so it's, it gets muddy because it's important for me at least to figure out what is the source of the drive? Is the source of the drive what it is that I'm seeing others do? Or is the source of the drive coming from within? Hmm. And that I I don't I don't really know, but regardless of that actual answer, I don't know if I ever would know. I just have to keep moving mm -hmm. in the direction that I think I'm supposed to be going, and then avoid as much of other people's or other things, other entities' energy superimposing itself onto my frame of mind and my trajectory. Mm -hmm. And do you believe that you are operating in your your own trajectory and desire? Or are there things that you believe have come from outside that you're sifting through? No, I think I am. That you I'm are operating? constantly opera. sifting through energy from the outside. It smells so good. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. No, there's, I mean, how can you not? Yeah, it's a constant. However, I feel like, based on obs my observation of you, you still have a good idea of who you are, or you're still discovering, but you know, you know, you know what's not you, for the most part, yeah. based on what I've observed. Well, take for instance, 
We went to Eric Badu concert. Mm-hmm. When we were there, all I could think about, really, I really didn't give a damn that we were watching Eric Badu, even though it was a great show. Phenomenal artist. Mm -hmm. What I cared more about was the space that we were experiencing the show in and how I could have my own. Mm -hmm. and how I could build to that. You said that. So is that is that my energy? You know what I mean? Is it, is it mine or is that the energy of whoever does own that space put on that production? And they're like, hey, this is what I got. And I'm sitting there like, no, I want that. And I want to do it better. You know I mean, like, point. is that mine? Is that mine or is that something somebody else has that I'm seeing and now I want? What do you think? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I mean, it probably is. I mean, it's probably, it might not even be inherently a bad thing to want what others want. Or to want what others have. But if you, we pause on that too, that's something that's common, right? Well, it goes back to the conver other conversation we had about the grass being greener on the other side. I think it's inherently, it's just natural human nature that, or, or maybe we've been conditioned to desire whatever it is others have. Like you see a baby, you, babies learn it from a young age as well. You give one something and they're like, well, Mine's not the same color, or you gave them more, or, you know, whatever. Is it, is it a conditioning, or is it just our innate nature? That's the question I think I posed. I was like, you know, I think it's innate human nature, or were we conditioned? I think it's innate. You think it's innate? I think, yeah. I think to an extent, for sure. Mm -hmm. I think in some regard, yeah. Yeah. It definitely could be. Because I, I, be. I believe men are born to be conquerors, to take, you know what I mean? Like, and then that's what we do. We take. Okay, so now you're talking about a specific grouping of humans. Sure, but I'm just using it as a generalization, as an example of where it might hold true in human nature. Hmm. You know, so for, you know, and I can only speak... I guess in terms of men as being a man, mm -hmm. men want power. You know what I mean? We want power in one regard or the next. Then power today is, is measured in, in wealth, right? It's measured in resource. It's measured in all of the stuff. But that's how it's always been measured, even though there's not... You know, it hasn't always been one way of measuring wealth or measuring that power. Well, that's what men want. We want power. We want power to inflict change, to impose our will. But what if I tell you I want power? Yeah, you want power? Sure. Yeah, I know you want power. I think it's human nature that we want power. I think the lengths in which um, a man will go might be more often than not or more common more common in that we'll go further to to obtain power so it might be more common amongst men but there are definitely women out there who want power who garner power a whole lot of power mm -hmm. look at harry hillary clinton that mm -hmm. woman's a fucking psychopath mm -hmm. Anyway, should I go edit this now? Sure. You feeling done? Yeah, I'm feeling done. This has been another couple conversation. Are you feeling done? Yeah. Here's the progress on the mashed potatoes. And then this is the, the quinoa. You won't get to see the greens, but there's going to be greens, so... That's what it's giving. Um, and I'm going to get my power. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. But he makes a good point about innate human nature. 
So are you operating in your purpose with your energy or someone else's? Okay, bye.